All right, so transparency, that, that evil word that we all hear about can be our best friend or our worst enemy. Key here is there is a difference between transparency and opacity. So let's just make sure we're all talking the same thing. Transparency in PDF terms is technically called native transparency or vector-based transparency. And what this means is it's a, it's a tool that many layout programs you know, use to provide the ability to put special effects around an object or allow an object to do cool things it's like making vignettes or drop shadows or feathered edges or glows on type. Uh, those are all examples of native transparency. And in PDF terms, those are all called blending modes. So if you ever hear the term blending modes, that's what they're usually talking about is transparency. So next slide. Opacity is different. Opacity is technically still part of blending mode, but it describes a property of a color or an object and how it blends with the colors or objects below it. So in this case, in this example, it shows there's you know that orange color that's 100% opacity means it knocks out 100% of everything below it. Now, if I turn that to 60%, it's gonna allow 40% of whatever's below it to show through, or if I turn it to 20, it's gonna allow 80% of whatever's below it to show through. Now that could be a color, it could be an object, a picture, doesn't really matter. The idea is that it's, you know, for the those of you who have been in the industry a long time, it's like putting a screen on a color. So now let's look at some, some practical examples of the difference between opacity and transparency. So one thing that you need to understand, transparency and overprint are not the same thing. So when you say I want my black to overprint my color, that has nothing to do with transparency or opacity for that matter. That is a printing term. So don't get confused with overprint thinking that means transparency. It's sometimes people use that, but it's not the same thing. So let's look at some examples. So this is a file that we used in the ISO to describe to the team that was working on PDF 2.0 the problem when you define something as transparent, opaque, or overprint. So in this case, this file was built in Illustrator. All of those 800 and 8,000 numbers are inks that are opaque in nature, meaning they do not let the whatever below print book printed below them show through because they're not they're not a transparent ink. So again, this has nothing to do with transparency in PDF. This is the ink property. But the process black ink is a transparent ink, meaning it, it's designed to let the color, some colors underneath it show through. Same thing with the yellow. Now that reflex blue is a, what they call a semi-opaque ink, meaning its properties tend to only let a little bit of the ink th through. Now, when I this was built in Illustrator, this was built in, in the layers, and I want you to note that in the middle of that yellow section there's actually some text there but it's not showing because the when whoever built this put the yellow on top of that and so it covers it up when illustrator just by default so next slide uh okay trying there we go so the next slide this is turning on overprint preview in illustrator so you can see when the overprint preview, because overprint in Illustrator understands that process black ink has a, a, a somewhat transparent thing to it. It doesn't realize that all of the 800 inks are opaque in nature. So it thinks that that black is overprint. I know it's hard to see on your screen, but you can see subtle shadows of each one of those inks showing up. So this is a case where the overprint preview is giving the user the end user a false sense of what it's going to look like and then the same thing with that yellow the process yellow is now this is how it actually printed when it went to press this is what it really looked like when it was printed so you can't believe what you see in illustrator or in acrobat for that matter when you turn on thing you need to understand the properties of the components as well as the properties of opacity and transparency. So in this case, you can see where that Pantone 877 was set to be 50% opacity. In this case, it's like putting a 50% screen and it lets the black show through on the 877. So 877 is a very light silver, but when you put 50% black with it, it turns it very gray. 
So the same, so the same thing down there on the reflex blue. If I put print the reflex blue on top of the yellow, it stays a blue color. But if I print the yellow over top of the reflex blue, it starts turning it a gray green. So again, th those are principles or properties of the print process that has absolutely nothing to do with how the file was set up. So when you're using opacity and transparency, it's important to understand your output intent. And we're going to talk about that as well as the characteristics of the inks in the in the presses that you'll be using. So this is not meant to confuse you. It's more to open your eyes and say there is more to opacity and transparency than sometimes meets the eye.